import some assets. All right, so I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm in my Assets folder. And I'm going to choose my files. So I have my browser and my iPhone that I made in Illustrator, and then my poster and the uh, videos of my prototypes. And I'm going to click Import. So under Project Pane, uh, I can see that they've come in. Uh, at the bottom here, you have a couple of views down in the corner. So you could have the icon view or the list view. I prefer the list view. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is I know my browser is sort of the widest um, thing that I have and I want to set up some sort of system as to where like captions are going to go and where images are going to go. So in my thinking, um, I'm going to have my sort of images on the left and captions on the right, but you will figure out your design as you need to. Uh, but to just sort of give myself some guides, I'm going to pull in my browser here, just temporarily. And there it is. I can come in, I can click on it. And I'm just going to move it over. And then I'm going to bring in a guide so that I kind of know where that ends. And I don't have to follow this. I may find that the system doesn't work for me. Again, I suggest doing a test. Um, video to kind of figure out what your system is going to look like. But for now, I don't need that. because I've got my guide in there. Okay, great. Because what I'm going to work on first is actually my poster. So I have my poster here. I'm going to bring it in. So I just clicked and dragged. So now it's on the, um, the timeline. And if I press play, my text appears. And then boom, the poster. And that might be enough time. Depends on what I need to put in with the poster, but I can always um, click and drag to make that poster time a bit longer. And if I want to, I can click on it. And again, under editing and effect controls, I can come in and maybe I want to change my opacity. So it kind of smoothly comes in. So I'm going to put in a key frame. Oh, does that work? No, because it's not quite at the right spot. There we go. I can bring in a keyframe. I'll make my opacity zero. And then I'll add another keyframe. And my opacity becomes 100%. And then I'll fade it out. So keyframe. And then on my final keyframe, that's where in another one, make my opacity to zero. And I'll do a little playthrough. All right, that's not too bad. So obviously it will depend on what you need for that, that time length will depend on what you need um, for to do and I am going to just come in and you know decide like compared to where my furthest thing goes like where do I want this poster to wind up do I want everything to kind of hug to this guideline in which case I have a lot of empty space here maybe I'll decide my captions uh, go here instead sure so yeah maybe captions are here when there's a lot of room and maybe they're over on the uh, right hand side when that space is full. Um, I'll have to test that out to see how I like it. But I'm going to come in to um, about here, I guess. Sure. And I'm going to start typing some text so I can hit my T tool to type. And I can just come in. And be like, this is the poster, or whatever you need to write for uh, this particular section. And of course, that type is huge, so, and not that legible at a, um, 
condensed type face. And I'm just gonna close these up so I can come under text. This is the poster. And maybe I'll be just uh, regular and smaller. But again, I want to test that text size before I come in and actually build my video. I want to have like a little test as to how that will look. And I want that to last for as long as the poster lasts. And when I click on that frame, so maybe I'll make it, yeah. So I can click on that frame, and then again, I can come in and change my opacity. Don't worry, I'm not going to change my opacity on all of these things. Uh, but I'll click a little stopwatch, and then I can drop in a um, keyframe, and then I will turn my opacity to zero. And come in here, keyframe, and put that at a hundred percent. Keyframe and final keyframe to bring it down and let it fade out. However, you intend to have your uh, captions appear, they could just appear, they don't necessarily need to um, fade in or fade out. All right. Great, so let's take a look at pulling in some videos. So what I want to do is drag and drop my, I'll do the large one first. So, so there's my scroll, it's my big one, and I'm going to move it over. Let's double click it there, move it over. Like so. And then I also want my browser to be on top, so on the layer above. So I'm going to bring it out so it's at the same amount of time. And I also see that my uh, white background. Yeah. My white background, I think. Oh, I think it disappeared on me, but that's okay. Oh no, I can't tell. It's still there. All right, anyhow. <laughs> uh, so, I have my browser, and I want that to sit on the top. And again, I've got it on snap, so that should work. Like so, uh, but I can always zoom in, so say 150, and then I have the little scroll bars at the bottom here, so I can check to see that those are aligned okay. There we go. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so I'll bring that back to fit, and I'm just going to press play, see how that looks. And it's a little bit choppy when you're in uh, Premiere, but not so choppy when you're actually um, playing it for real. All right, that's good enough. So uh, one thing that you may want to do is, if you didn't have it within the recording, you may want to pause on a certain area to showcase it, to talk about it, to say what it's about, or show a certain feature about it. So what you can do is come in Let's see. Maybe I want to pause for a while. I think that's stuck. Okay, maybe I want to pause a little while on this particular oddly placed point. Well, Let's see. Sorry, it is running a bit slow. Anyhow, I can come in. Oh, let me zoom a bit. I can come into this point and decide I want to freeze the frame. 
So what I can do is, on the actual video itself, I can click on it, and where the playhead is at, I can uh, right click and choose Insert Frame Hold Segment. And that gives it a little uh, chunk that is a frozen picture of that particular frame. So I'm going to click Insert Frame Hold Segment. And it sort of splits it. And I need to like put my browser back over it. And also extend my uh, black mat as well. But I won't worry about that for right now. But when we come to this point, to be able to play. And it just freezes that spot. So if you needed to pause, and put in some captions. You can uh, just uh, bring your playhead to the point at which you want it to pause, uh, and then it'll just pause there, and then it'll keep playing the video. Okay. And you can always make it uh, wider or shorter uh, than what you actually have, so it can consume more or less time. But again, that is right click and insert frame hold segment. So you can freeze that frame and add caption to that if you need. Uh, something else that you may want to do, you should hopefully maybe remember from uh, previous times, but I had a lot of extra time at the very end of my uh, video where I wasn't doing anything. Um, it just sort of stopped. I had extra so, uh, what you can do is if you need to trim the chunk off, you can click on the little razor tool and click and that'll give you a spot to where it'll cut and you can like get rid of the rest, delete, uh, or the shortcut key is command K. There we go. So then I can always come in. It's been cut. So it's not freeze framed, it's just cut. And I can cut that. And I can actually do it up here as well since I don't need it anymore for my browser. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. So I think that's about all I have for this demo, except I will show you saving. So I'm just going to go. Oh, also, if you're interested in putting in a, a little. Uh, song, audio, soundtrack, a melody uh, behind your um, your your video. Uh, check out Louise's demos. She's got quite in-depth, thorough demos about all of the uh, or a bunch of what Premiere can do. But I'm gonna go and save right away here. So I'm gonna go file. Well, I should just save it. But I mean, I want to export it. So uh, exporting, as you may recall, can take quite a bit of time. So, you know, if you're working on things, maybe go for a meal when you're exporting, but you can go File, Export Media. So that's File, Export Media. And you get this little guy. And what you want to do is under Export Settings, choose H.264. So that's H. 0.264. That's what I saved for this as before, so that's why it remembered, but yours might say something different. Probably quick time, but you want H.264, and you can just click Export. And I'll tell you how long that's going to take. I'm not going to make you wait for my export to complete, so uh, thanks for watching.